Yo, hello, once again, it's Henry Crackhouse, once again. Um, what do I have to say, share with you guys today? Um, should I tell you guys what I eat on a good day? Like what I eat every day. I'm Henry Crackhouse, I own Crackhouse, I'm based in Germany, by the way. So, subscribe to my channel, share and like. Give me thumb up so that I'll go read them. Uh, we'll be able to see my page and um, and um, yeah things like that. So how not day? What did happen? What did happen? What did happen? What did happen? I hope you guys day okay. So what do I eat on a good day? The things I eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. So what do I eat for breakfast? What do I eat for breakfast? When I wake up in the morning, I, I am I usually wake up four in the morning. So when I wake up in the morning, what do I eat? Let me think about it. Uh, nothing. <coughs> yeah, nothing. I don't eat breakfast. I don't eat breakfast. Um, I used to eat breakfast. Used used to eat bread in the morning drink tea that was until like three four years ago i don't eat breakfast it's not necessary from what i have learned eating breakfast in the morning is the most dangerous thing you can you can do to your body yeah because what do we usually eat during breakfast sugar if you take a look at your breakfast table salt sugar processed food if there is no bread on that table, there is milk. If there is no milk, there is um, sugar, chocolate, processed one, uh, ham, um, um, what do you call it, jam. Some people even fried yam and plantain. They fried yam, fried plantain, fried um, egg. Eat it all in the morning. They call it breakfast. Anyway, I'm not here to judge anybody, but I don't eat breakfast. When I get up in the morning, which, like I said, I usually get up 4 in the a.m., um, I prepare myself, I make myself a cup of Irish moose tea. I prepare myself, I make myself a cup of seaweed tea. You know what seaweed is? This a jelly, jelly, slime, jelly, smile, weed that grows on rocks in the ocean. It grows on rocks in the ocean. Seaweed. Maybe Google it. Make myself a cup of seaweed and I'm good to go out. In the afternoon, in the afternoon, I make myself some, I prepare myself some fruits. Some fruits apples some seasonal fruits huh? uh, i live in europe most of the fruits we are used to in nigeria don't grow in europe so we we make do with the ones we have sorry we don't speak english in germany so i have to always think before i pronounce some certain words because i don't want to miss yan you know, I know one Miss Yan mention say things we are not supposed to say. Make I no come sound like person we no go school. We never go school before. <laughs> <coughs> so in the afternoon, I, I make myself some fruits. I eat some fruits. Yeah, they are expensive here. Things like um, papa, mango. Uh, mangoes and um yeah i i don't eat pineapple it's not good for my this thing i don't eat pineapple pineapple is too acidic for my stomach my stomach can't digest pineapple pineapple um yeah i eat apples yeah apples but not every day i eat apples once a week or once every two weeks you know apple is very sugary it can be very sweet you know, you know you have to be careful when eating some of these fruits you know uh, in africa we eat them seasonally seasonally <laughs> in 
in Africa we eat them seasonally. Make I talk like that again. Meaning say um, we don't have bananas all round, all year round. You know, um, the banana plant, um, the, the banana plant lays it, its um, fruit, the banana fruits. I think once every year. I think in the rainy season. In I'm not sure. I left Africa a very long time ago. So um, I'm always careful when I consume those kind of things here in Europe because here in Europe you have them every day. You know they import them on ripe and then store them in some place and then heat it up and then they become ripe and then they distribute it. And so you have these things all year round. Which if you don't know how to consume them, if, if you don't know, if you don't regulate the way you eat them, you end up taking in a lot of sugar. Yeah. So I eat fruits in the afternoon for lunch. And um, yeah, drink me lots of water. Uh, for dinner, for dinner, in, in the evening, sometimes I eat wild rice. I prepare myself wild rice. Uh, wild rice, quinoa. I don't know if that's the right way, um, um, if that's the right pronunciation. Quinoa, quinoa, Q something something. Tiny, tiny, tiny little things like this. I don't eat wild rice. I, I don't eat white rice. Is what I meant to say. Sorry, I eat only wild rice, the black rice. That's the only rice I eat. I don't eat wild, uh, white rice. I don't eat brown rice. I don't eat um, basmati rice. I don't eat none of those things. Eh? So that's what I eat. On, on that is how I go. That that is how I eat every day. I eat lots of vegetables, lots of green leaves, lots of green leaves. Yeah. I eat lots of them. I eat cucumber a lot. Cucumber a lot. I eat nuts a lot. Well, nuts, Brazil nuts, pecan nuts. Um, um, yeah. I eat nuts a lot. I drink water a lot. I drink a lot of water. I weigh 77 kilos. I used to weigh 100 kilos. And I'm fine. I'm healthy. I, You know, when I used to be fat, like I talk on the way it is, when I used to be fat, when I was fat, I, I used to be angry with myself. I was always angry, always tired, couldn't sleep. Uh, I was always like, you know, it, it, it was always like someone owes me something. Like I was always angry with people, you know. I, I had this, um, I, 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 I used to be very aggressive. I used to be very aggressive. If you cross me, I could, you know, I used to be very, just very aggressive. I used to have this negative energy inside me. I was like, eh. But since I got rid of all those unwanted fat and all those unwanted things, since, since I got rid of them and went back to being healthy, just went back to being a normal human being, been good. I sleep well now. I sleep well now. I can breathe well. I don't snore anymore. <laughs> I'm going to make a video on snoring. I'm going to let you guys know why you snore and what you should do in order to stop your snoring. So, wash out. So, that's just how, how my day goes, what, what I eat on a good day. So, what do you eat? What do you eat? I eat African food, yam and plantain. That's where I get my carbohydrate. But I don't eat those things every day because eating those things every day, you know, carbohydrate starch, it's sugar. It can really mess your insulin up. <laughs> so, so I'm always careful when I eat. Anytime I feel like eating yam or plantain or all those African stuff, Ikusi, I'm always very careful not to, like, overeat them. You know? You know what I'm talking about. We overeat those things, pounded yam, fufu. We overeat them, which can be very bad sometimes, you know? If you're unlucky, if you're unlucky, 
if you're very unlucky it spikes your insulin up and your cells them starts to reject ignore your uh, the insulin and when your cells start ignoring your insulin insulin in your body you have what they call insulin resistance which is very dangerous so you have to if you don't have a good nutritionist or a good doctor who knows all that knows what he or she is doing if you don't have a good doctor or a good nutritionist to tell you how to reverse your insulin resistance how to reverse your diabetics how to reverse all those things your your glucose level and all those things you end up taking drugs and end up dying <laughs> so what do you eat every day what do you eat I've just shared with you guys the things I eat on on a good day, how I eat. So leave some comments, leave your comments there and like and share. And um, if I don't miss you and make you pardon me, I beg. Um, I live for Germany, I repeat. We know they speak English here, we they speak German. So for those of us who have been go to school, learn English, <laughs> we are still, <laughs> we're still practicing I'm going to edit this part out anyway. So share, like, and subscribe. Till next time, I'm out. Okay, real quick. Three years ago, I used to look like this guy. I used to be fat. My neck, I know, I used to be very fat, thick. My neck was used to be thick, full, and my face used to be oily, you know, like those Niger politicians, they when they don't steal money, they feel so they get money. So my face used to be oily. In those days, if I rub my hand on my face, to all be oily. I used to be very fat, very I know I used to weigh hundred kilo. I used to be thick, and yeah, at that time I thought I was healthy. I thought I was living well. I thought I was living the life. I thought I was good. Come on, I used to pop. Hennessy, I, I you know I used to pop Hennessy. You, you, you used to drink a lot. You, you, I know I used. To, I was about that that life. I used to be that guy then, but now I'm this guy. This is how I look now. After shedding thirty kilos, I look like this now. Yeah. So, what about you?